Um, Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since we did a video. I think about a week maybe. Maybe a little bit longer, but I don't know. I There's been times where I just forgot to upload like that whole last week. I was literally meaning to upload um, a couple of videos. I, I just kind of slumped on it for a second. I've been writing this movie, so I was focusing on that last week, so uh, trying to find a way to mix them together, basically. But anyways, before we get into anything else about this, uh, I guess we could just say real fast that this is a new watch for me, and the way I said that sounded like I'm going to say that I don't like it, but I actually love this movie. I actually really enjoyed it. Um... <laughs> I don't know if it would pass in today's society because of just who the main villain is and whatnot. I mean, it might be able to. I don't know. A24 seems to make it work somehow. They just seem to find workarounds or whatever. But basically, this movie's main villain is neo Nazis. Um, and these are punk rock. Uh, band except for her on the back here. I'm, I'm showing off the packaging as I talk um, But her on the back she's not in the band, but she's actually Superior I guess you could say um, But yeah, I'm trying to pull out the art cards. It's not really uh, working out for me at the moment It's okay. I think we're almost there and we are uh, let's take a look at these art cards real fast. I've already lost track of what I was saying. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so this is basically a movie about a punk rock band, low on luck, low on money, barely have anything right now to their name, um, and they're trying to make it as punk rock band, but... There's this interview scene in the movie where they explain why they're not as popular as they could be. It's because they don't like to use social media, so that's like kind of like a super punk rock band, if you will. Like, they go sicko style with the with the punk rock. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they go to this, so they go in all these clubs and all that and surrounding areas to get their name out there. They get sent to this uh, run-down, almost abandoned, uh, what looks like a diner, to be honest. With like, There's like four people in there, um, and none of them even seem interested in the type of music. They look like the type of people who just want to go in there and just drink their freaking coffee. Um, but obviously that doesn't uh, make the band happy and so the guy that was interviewing them the guy who kind of sucks at his job and actually doesn't even have a license anymore to promote shows and stuff like that finds another spot that has about 50 people but the problem is is that out of those 50 people all of them are nazis so it's a nazi club basically and they're sent to play songs and as a joke uh the band's second uh second track is uh, i think it's called nazi punks fuck off or something and um basically they sing that and it raises some brows and they stumble across a dead body or person who is just in the midst of being dead deaded i guess unalived if that's what we're calling it but um yeah so and then it's just a survival film after that and a really good one as well i haven't even looked at this book but this is one that actually kind of interests me there's only a couple of books that i've ever read or like releases with books that i've ever read this will probably be one of them um, because, I don't know, this movie's just so intriguing to me. Like, I feel like there's so much more, uh, like, hidden symbols or whatever that could describe, uh, some of the actions the characters take, the good characters, the bad guys, all that stuff. 
and I, I, I can't believe I haven't already mentioned this, but Patrick, or yeah, Patrick Stewart is in this film. And if I got that name wrong, I promise you guys, I've seen Star Trek, okay? We're talking about the same guy, all right? I have, sh I have short-term memory loss. I blame it on that. Um, now, with this set, you get two discs. Um, and this is one of those sets where, another one of those sets where I kind of wish they would have done more. I mean, like, they did the same thing with the It Follows release, where it was just like one image, except this time it's not even one image. It's two images. Uh, and I mean, it still looks okay, but, I mean, honestly, I would have preferred something more like, uh, the Changeling release they did, or Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Those releases were really cool, but I mean, I get it, there's a lot, there's not a lot you can do with two discs. I'm gonna take these art cards out, because I actually do like to leave that little slip that they come in on there. So I'll probably put that on after the video, but... Yeah, um, the transfer itself is very good, uh, it definitely, the movie itself is a very dark style, dreary type mood, because it's basically a bunch of rundown clubs the whole time, but the 4K captures that so perfectly, it's definitely not a 4K that, you know, makes it look like the Masterclass uh, format, you know, it's, it, but it does its job, though, um, I forgot to grab it, but I will, here, right now, we'll take a look at the special features, I don't remember them by heart, I don't even know if you heard that, I don't remember them by heart, but I have them here. You get dual format edition, including both UHD, okay. UHD presented in Dolby Vision HDR. Uh, okay, and here's the spe here's the features. You get new audio commentary by Raina Carventes and Prince Jackson, and an audio commentary by writer-director Jeremy Solner. Uh, and I probably will never listen to these. I'm not an audio commentary type of guy. Uh, so I think the only audio commentary I've ever watched was um, Fede Alvarez and the cast of uh, Evil Dead. And that was a good commentary. Made me want to watch more, but I don't know if I could. That's just That, that was just too good. Um, you got Going Hardcore, a new interview with Jeremy Sauner. Um, that was, that was a pretty good interview, I'd say. Punk Rock, a new interview with actor Callum Turner. I enjoyed that one very much. That was a really good one. Rocking Out, a new interview with composers Brooke and Will Blair. Very interesting to understand the, um, the rock, like, you know, punk rock and stuff like that. It's kind of what it goes, goes with. Uh, Going Green, a new interview with production designer Ryan Warren Smith. I didn't watch that one yet. Um, I Surprisingly, that's the only one I haven't watched. And Nazi Punks Fuck Off, Thomas Caldwell on Green Room. Uh, that one was pretty good. I, I, I wouldn't say any of them could beat uh, the punk rock one. Um, and then you get Archive Featurette, uh, Into the Pit, and Making Green Room. I haven't watched uh, either, oh, I guess that's the same, uh, yeah, I guess that's the same feature, but yeah. And then obviously you get a 120 page book, six collector's art cards, and a rigid slipcase. Who's not? Um, but yeah guys, that's gonna do it all for today. I know I'm not really good at reviews, but I really wanted to do one on this release. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you did not enjoy the video, obviously, uh, check out some other videos. You might enjoy those more. I do unboxings, movie reviews. Um, I have a couple reactions. I, I want to get started back on those, but I don't know if I will. Um, and I have a bunch of other stuff as well. Hauls, stuff like that. Um, just a bunch of stuff, really. I mean, uh... 
just like random top five stuff like that that are really fun to do i got one coming out soon probably the next video um but yeah that's that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and have a good day